So today I want to talk about other system data. This seems to be a very popular question here on the channel. If you head on over into settings and go to general, go to iPhone storage and you scroll all the way to the bottom, you have this section here that says system data. So what is system data and how can you free this storage back onto your iPhone? As you can see, this iPhone has a lot of system data and I'm going to try to share with you guys some details as into how to clear this data and how it works and how you can manage other other system data of course there's also a video on this for ios 14 users back a year ago i did film a video similar to this one but this is an updated version for ios 15 there's minor changes so we'll get to some of those details in this video of course as always if you would like to stay up to date with the latest ios news and apple software updates as always don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode and now before we get to how to clear some of that storage back onto your iphone some of that system data i wanted to explain how that works because of this value other system data directly depends on how you use your phone and what's happening on your device so this value will fluctuate every day depending on what you do on your phone so for example if you send a text message or someone sends you a text message that value will change the number will change if someone sends you a video sends you a photo that is stored under your messages, right? It isn't necessarily something that you're intentionally saving, but it's there and it takes up storage. That's other system data. This will actually cause system data to fluctuate, right? It will change the number on that number that you see right here. So as you delete messages, this number will change because again, that's other system data, stuff that's taken up storage on your device that fluctuates that particular value. Now, right here, you also get some suggestions here in settings. If we go to settings, general and iphone storage you get some recommendations here and this is the one that i recommend the most so offloading unused applications when you want that number to go down what you want to do is enable this option if you don't know how to find it if it isn't recommended here under iphone storage you can go back twice here go to the app store settings or the app store extension right here in settings and then you want to go ahead and enable offload unused applications what this will do is will remove apps that you don't necessarily use on your iphone now a lot of users do forget get to remove these apps from their iPhone. For example, when you first buy an iPhone, you get these applications from Apple that they're there, whether you use them or not. And if you delete these, that number will change. So if we head on over into settings here, we go into general, we go to iPhone storage, and we scroll all the way to the bottom here. For example, if we go ahead and we remove some of these apps that we don't use, for example, I don't use this one here. So let's go and remove this one here. It's going to remove that. That's going to be Pages. It's Apple software. I'm also going to go ahead and remove iMovie. I don't necessarily use that every day, so I'm just going to remove it here from the home screen and delete the application entirely. Also, podcasts here. Just a few apps and things that I'm going to delete so that you can see how that number does fluctuate after you remove these certain applications. Let's also delete books here. And we should see a number changing right there under the system and data options. So if we go back here, this number will fluctuate once this particular portion of the OS reloads. So we're going to exit out. We're going to close the settings application here. And then we're going to go back into settings, general, and then iPhone storage. We're going to go back into iPhone storage here. And then we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. And this number should have changed. Right there it is. So now, wow, look at all the system data that I've removed. So from 50-something gigs of other system data, we went down to six. And that's because I removed iMovie, which was a big factor here. We also can see right here the uh, values for each individual application. So for example, if I remove messages threats, as you can see right here, I can also go ahead and delete some of these conversation threats that will impact that value as well. If I remove the weather application, the stock weather that will give me back 132 megabytes or so. And you can see right here, each application has a separate set of numbers that will directly impact impact other system data. Another thing you can also do is head on over into your Safari extension as well. And you want to go ahead and remove the uh, system history or the history and web data. So if we head on over into Safari extension in settings here, let's find the Safari extension here in settings. And we're going to tap into here. And we're going to scroll to the bottom here and we'll find right here, clear history and web data. What this will do is will also impact that other system data. You will gain back some of that storage as well. But keep in mind, all your tabs and everything like that, your web history will be deleted. Let me know if this video works for you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.